just up in the studio today playing around some stuff. I uh, trying out a few new pedals for fun up here. Uh, I say new, I've had them for a while, but today I'm playing uh, a little uh, J Rocket Archer. That's what you were hearing there uh, with a little bit of Memory Man and the digital reverb from Boss here into the uh, Princeton set on like two and a half, treble on five, bass on four, uh, which that little Princeton. I gotta keep the bass low for it to uh, to work, to translate. Got my cold brew here. Just doing a little practice. Um, figured I'd say hello. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. I know I haven't posted in a few days. I've been, uh, been a little busy and it's good. Good things. Been playing with the kids, taking the kids to the pool, doing all that kind of good stuff and uh, some yard work, etc. So for those of you that are still uh, Still with us here on the channel thank you for your patience uh i was gonna i just had a few thoughts i was just kind of up here messing around up I, I thought um i'd talk through a few things uh that might be helpful to you guys uh i know i had talked previously about doing some uh more in-depth stuff on recording and tracking and tracks and stuff and i, I really want to get to that one uh, as well down the road whenever i can figure out the best way to show you guys on here uh, how that what that looks like so uh, for today, what I was up here uh, messing around with, uh, I'm trying to find, I kind of miss having some compression. So I put a compressor, I've got this little SP compressor. I also use the one by, um, oh, I forget what the company's called. It's called Mirage Compressor. It's got two knobs on it, really easy. But today it's the little SP by Exotic. This thing's built like a tank, they're great. And uh, so I was using that with the uh, little Archer pedal. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about a few things. Um, one is that uh, if you have to play with a smaller amp and maybe you have to keep it um, the volume a little lower, uh, one the compressor can be really helpful. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. So, like, let's say, you know, this is my volume uh, on the little Princeton, just on its own, you know. <laughs> something like the Archer. not doing a whole lot but you add in a little bit of compressor and one overdrive pedal and you can really get a lot of mileage um, out of just one little setup like that uh, so I you know I can use the volume pedal to clean that up so here's here's the compressor and the um, and the archer together You're not, 
pushing the amp that hard. Uh, you know, there's there's character there, but you really are allowing that compressor, uh, the compress compressor, <laughs> to help the notes kind of feel good under your fingers, and it uh, carries a little more. And then if you stack even one more level, uh, let's say you do like uh, I've got the tube screamer running into the archer, so compressor first, tube screamer, archer, and then you can get really. Uh, more into like lead territory. <laughs> So I was just, you know, we haven't really talked about compressors on the channel yet, but uh, uh, a few Sundays ago I was playing at church and uh, I really wanted to bring, I just really wanted to make the Princeton uh, work for church. I didn't want to have to bring the big cab and the heavy matchless head and all the stuff. And I've done that plenty of times before, but you know, one Sunday the, uh, the matchless didn't work. Uh, the tube went bad and it was popping and cracking and I was like, man... I was really frustrated and um but i had brought my princeton as like a second amp because i always like to have a backup uh or sometimes i'll bring the kemper and i'll just kind of set it in there in case i prefer to use the amp but if i have at least i've got the kemper if i need it so uh last sunday i'm like i'm not doing the big amp and cab and all this stuff i'm gonna try to make the princeton work because that one sunday the, that stuff didn't work anyway and the princeton sounded great and it's got a 12 inch speaker in it so it's it sounds a little bigger than a normal Princeton, uh, in theory. Uh, depends on what you're playing, I guess. Um, but yeah, so uh, I was just a couple little thoughts on uh, gain and compression. And uh, it's a great little pedal, this little Archer. Um, let me show you my settings in just a second. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I was trying to figure out a way to get even more out of the Princeton. I thought maybe I should, if I add a compressor back in, that could help me uh, make it sound even more aggressive. And I think that's one cool trick. If you've got a small amp or you need to play quietly, like in bed bedroom levels or even like a church venue and you can't crank the amp in an, in an ISO room, or maybe it's just a small amp, sometimes a compressor into an overdrive uh, can, really, can really be a cool secret, you know, to kind of help you uh, boost your sound. Um, so yeah, I got a really basic setup here today on a pedal board. When I say basic, I mean it's not complicated. It's not like it's uh, it's not like it's not good. It's a great setup. I'll show you what I'm using. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to change a few things around. I've I've used a lot of the same gear for many years, and uh, it's always worked great for me. But I'm trying some new stuff here, and I've totally ripped apart this pedal board that uh, the wonderful guys at XTS have made for me. Um, but I'll show you today what it's looking like. These are those professional uh, gear rundowns we do here on the channel where I just hold the pedal board up. Uh, so yeah, you can see I've got the, uh, oh no, should have used Velcro. Kids, don't do this at home. All right, so I'm running this little SP compressor into the uh, Archer and I got the King of Tone going too. Probably should have done this uh, a different way but yeah that's basically what i'm using today and uh just a couple pedals that's one two three four six, seven pedals but i'm not even i you know didn't even use them all um but yeah there's just some thoughts on some gain and it, you know it can really help with the feel of things if, if you use a compressor sometimes and uh, that sp one is really good uh it doesn't take up a lot of real estate and i've, I've gotten some mileage out of it um but i also really like the diamond compressor it's really good Used that for a long time. Got that around here somewhere. I'll probably try that out as well. I just kind of missed having one. I was like, maybe I should go back to that. Uh, it's great too for like, if you're in a, a song where you need big chords that last a long time um, and you can't get your amp loud enough to like just make it go for a long time. Or even if you do have it loud, sometimes the compressor will help your notes last longer so you can hit a chord and it'll just kind of like sustain it through the, through the, uh, 
through the chord progression if you have like big long chord chord uh diamonds you know in, in a chorus um but yeah i'm gonna rewire uh kind of fix this pedal board uh soon maybe we can go on a little pedal journey together uh because i'm trying out some stuff you guys know about this pedal i use this for a long time i love this thing uh toured with this for a long time and really it was a great pedal i'm thinking about putting that back on the board lately it's been the tube screamer and the king of tone most of the time uh the archer's been on there i used to love this pedal too this one's supposed to be great i think this was designed to work with a um ac30 which is maybe why i liked it because i like to run ac30s and uh, we were in the studio years ago when i was like 19 20 and uh the producer was a guy from uh one of the producers was a guy from new zealand and i think this is where this pedal came from and uh uh and he was like, man, you got to get a hot cake. And so he would put the hot cake on like so many of our tracks. And it always sounded so good. And I was like, man, I got to get one. So I went and bought one and it's a great pedal. So that might go back on the board too. It's, uh, or maybe we can kind of show you what it sounds like on here on the channel. It's kind of more, it's a little different than like the classic overdrive, which is nice. It sounds really good. Uh, like a telly or, or really anything. It sounds great. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I wanted to pop in and do another video uh by all means please um comment below so i can keep up and keep uh working through this i got a lot of ideas for videos and things i want to keep uh keep doing so um by all means I, I had several ideas for more videos on some delays i know that's, that's a big topic for conversation that uh people will ask me uh if we get to talk at a concert or something um we'll talk about delays we'll talk about overdrives amps etc uh, lots of important things to get to but yeah uh, man, I hope you guys are doing good. Please say hello below and uh, I'll try to get to everyone's questions if you have any and uh, Hope you guys have a good day. All right. Talk to you soon